the Archimedean property of R. We will be looking at the Archimedean property of R in this video. Essentially, you know, Archimedean property of R means that the subset N, N, the subset of natural, the, the subset N of real numbers, subset N is essentially the set of all natural numbers. That set is unbounded. It is unbounded because it's not bounded above. It's not bounded above and that is why it is unbounded and that's what essentially is the intuition behind Archimedean property. So the Archimedean property says that for any x belonging to the set of real number r, there exists an n such that n is greater than x. So essentially, you know, what do I mean by saying that? So if you have a number line like this, if you have a number line like this and you have x somewhere here, you know, 0, this is minus infinity to infinity, this is your real line, you have x lying somewhere here. Then there will be an n or a natural number ahead of this real number. Somewhere ahead of this real number, there will be a natural number like, you know, uh, I can give you an example like 4.33, you know, 34, 3, whatever. That's a real number. So after this real number, there will be a number, natural number 5. So that's what we mean essentially by this property. That is what this property is saying. Let's now mathematically try to prove it. Let's try to prove this property. And we'll be doing that by contradiction. So, we will assume that there does not exist any such n. First of all, I need to assume that there will there, there is some real number, an arbitrary real number x. And let us suppose, for contradiction, we will suppose that there does not exist any n such that n is greater than x. So that means that if there does not exist any natural number such that n is greater than n, so that's the negation of this part. That's the negation of this part. So this would mean that n is less than or equal to x. So this would mean that n is for any natural number n is for any natural number n is less than or equal to x. If it is not greater than x then it is less than or equal to x. So, what does it mean? It means that x is an upper bound for n. That means that x is an upper bound for n. Because all the natural numbers are less than that. Because all the natural numbers are less than that. So, it is an upper bound for n. Now then, according to the completeness property, if there is an upper bound, then completeness says that there will be a supremum. So, n will admit a supremum. Then, n has a supremum. According to the completeness property, n will admit a supremum, n will admit a supremum, let's just say the supremum is v or So the completeness property essentially tells if, if a set has 
an upper bound that means it will have a supremum and if it has a low bound then it will admit an infimum. So every subset of R that is bounded above will have a supremum. as a supremum. So that is the reason behind it. Now if V is a supremum then if I look at the number V minus 1 for V minus 1 there exists an N belonging to the set of natural numbers such that N lies between V minus 1 and V. Okay. So, for V minus 1, there exists N such that V minus 1 is less than N and that is less than or equal to V and this comes by characterization, by characterization, characterization. of supremum. So that means if I just take that one here and that would mean that V is essentially V is essentially less than n plus 1 n plus 1 belongs to the set of natural numbers and which is a contradiction because V is a supremum. V is a supremum. Okay, V is a supremum. So, this gives us a contradiction to what we assumed. So, our assumption is wrong and that is why that is why there does exist natural number n such that n is always greater than x. So our assumption is wrong. Okay, And there does exist 